Hi there. And I'll just take you through this question first of all. So what we've got here is that in a company, the 200 employees are classified as full-time workers, part-time workers or contractors. And the table below shows the number of employees in each category and whether they walk to work or use some form of transport. And the events F, H and C are that an employee is a full-time worker, part-time worker or contractor respectively. Let W be the event that an employee walks to work. An employee is selected at random and we've got to find the probability of H for two marks, the probability of not F intersected with W for two marks, and finally the probability of W given C for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this then, haven't done so, you can just Pause the video, give you a moment to do that. And as I say, when you come back, you can fast forward to the answers or just check out my work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's just label these sets up here. I find them very difficult to uh, remember. We've got the events F, which is this one for full workers. For part-time workers, we've got H, which I think is a bit of an unusual letter to have, but there we go. H for that one and C for contractors. So if we're asked then in the first one to find the probability of H, let's just uh, border this off as well. If we're asked to find then in part A, the probability of H, then how many people are part-time workers? Well, it's going to be a total of 35 and 75, so that's going to be 110, and it's 110 then out of all of the employees, that's 200, okay? So 110 out of 200. And any exact answer will do, so you could leave it like that, but uh, you could divide top and bottom by 10 and get 11 twentieths. Or you might want it expressed as a decimal, which is 0 0.55. It's up to you, okay? Now for part B, we've got to work out then the probability of not, okay, that's using this symbol here, okay, this little dash here, not, some people call it the complement, probability of not having a full-time worker that walks to work. So how do I do that one? How could we do it? Now I'm going to consider first of all F intersected with W. I'm going to forget about the complement first of all. F intersected with W means how many people are full-time workers and walk to work. Well I can see that's this two here. So I know that the probability of F intersected with W must be 2 out of 200 people. But we don't want that. We've got the complement here. So I'm going to do 1 minus that. In other words, that's going to be 198 people out of 200. And you could leave it like that or reduce it down. You could divide top and bottom by 2 and get 99 out of 100 or write it as a decimal and it's 0 0.99. As I say, totally up to you which ones you put up there. Now for part C then, this is a conditional probability. The probability of W given C. And we should be familiar with this idea that when you get this notation, this is exactly the same as the probability of both events occurring. In this case, it will be W and C, written like that. Always divided by the probability of the given event, which in this example is C. Okay. So what is the probability of W and C? Somebody walking to work that is a contractor? Well, it's got to be these 30 people. 30 people out of 200. And this is divided by the probability of C, probability of being a contractor, which is a total of 80 people, okay, 30 and 50, out of 
200. So you've got 80 out of 200 there. And if you multiply top and bottom here by 200, you get the fraction 30 over 80, or 3 eighths, if you divide top and bottom by 10. Or if you want it as a decimal, 0 0.375. Again, any of those answers would do. Another way of looking at this, though, when you've got this conditional probability set up, the probability of someone walking to work given that they're a contractor. Well, if you look at it from this point of view, that we know that we're told that they're contractors, so we're only looking at 80 people, what proportion of these now walk? Okay, 30. 30 people walk out of 80, and that's that answer there. So you could achieve it by just arguing that kind of logic. Okay?